Hello kittens, thanks for joining me. If you don't know me, my name is Pippa Jones and this is the place where I like to talk about all things beauty, such as fragrance. Today we're gonna to talk about some Kirkshan, the legendary Kirkshan and his A La Rose perfume, just in time for February. And the brand spanking new Chantecaille, the new palette and a couple of Lip Cheeks from the new collection, their Spring 2022 collection. Pretty exciting, I haven't even peeked at that yet. So, please join me today and hopefully some more. Subscribe, if you learn something new, you like something, give it a thumbs up, helps this channel to become a better channel. And also, if you would like to, Comment down below when I say, yeah, I'm wondering what you're thinking about this. Yeah, I mean it. I want to know. I want to talk. I love talking about makeup. I love to um, find out what everyone else is thinking about it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, some people like to finish their makeup look for the day off with a spray. I like to start my day with a spray. I've always wanted to be one of those women that um, could start their meal off with desserts, but maybe someday. Someday that'd be my goal. But um, Kirk John's A La Rose, and if you haven't checked out um, the legendary Kirk John's website, definitely uh, do that. Uh, it's a really cool website, and when I watched a little um, snippet of a film on this, I learned that there's like 400, up to 400 roses, and there's two types of roses that he lists in this fragrance. Um, and, oh my gosh, yes, it's so beautiful. Up to 400 roses in each bottle. My gosh, that has to be worth the price, right? <sighs> Starting to this way. It's so fresh, it's so crisp right away, right off the bat. I spread, I sprayed his little message um, a little while ago. We'll let that dry down to talk about it uh, later, but Oh, goodness gracious, glory me, oh my. That is one beautiful fragrance. Very, very crisp, very, very fresh right off the bat. Um, the notes, uh, sweet peas, centrifolia, roses, demency, I think I'm pronouncing that right, roses, and musks, and violet. So we'll have to look at some other violets and do a little comparison at the end. But otherwise, let's get on to unboxing our new Chantecai. It's the Giraffe Eye Quartet. And um, I'm not sure um, if you are new to luxury beauty, uh, and this is new. This is one of my utmost favorite brands. Um, if you are an old school beauty gal, I'm sure you're well versed with Chantecai. But um, outstanding French company and um, the causes that they sponsor throughout the years are just really outstanding and I'm so glad that a portion of what we pay for this goes on to help the animals, this one helping the giraffes. And I don't know if you've ever seen like giraffes at a wild animal park or at the zoo or wherever you have seen them, they are just majestic creatures and um, just so amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. Anyway, we have four shades here. And um, I, on fir first glance, when I saw this online, I thought, you know, eh, you know, it's kind of that same old same old. But what about that white shade in there? And um, I think it's going to be a really, really great, um, both everyday palette and something that you could funk up a bit. It looks like there's uh, four different types of uh, shadows. And here are some swatches, all creamy and absolutely beautiful. And let's take a look here at Jasmine. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Gotta love the magnetic click. Um, take a look at it. It is a peachy nude looks very nice uh, I'm thinking I probably have something similar to this in my collection but um, very everyday wearable the other one that I have today is Freesia just lovely 
Absolutely beautiful mirrored the giraffe, the Shantakainen, the sea. And uh, this one's a darker one. A darker shade there. A rosy nude. All right, so let's get into our new quad. And I think today I would like to create a little look. Um, just using this matte, very powdery at the beginning as a transition. Gonna go into the crease with that. I definitely have those hooded. I don't know if they're hooded or it's just like the big old bone in my skeleton there. Um, but so I always try to do my transition a little bit above that. So just work in my crease and a little bit above that. Okay. That was my Sonia G Classic Crease. And I'm also gonna go in with my Sonia G Mini Booster. I'm just gonna kind of darken the outer V a little bit more. It is going on very, very nicely. The thing I love about Shantakai is, um, you know, it definitely is that French aesthetic. It definitely has that, you know, high-end feel to it. Um, a lot of the tutorials, if you're following them on social media, you know, the models that they're using in their makeup artists are just, you know, a very classy, chic French look. Um, what can you say more? I heard rumors lately, um, I can't remember where I heard it, but um, that they were bought out for some outstanding amount. It was like a fam it seemed like a small family owned company. I'm sure they'll probably either help transition or still be part of it. I don't know for sure, I can't say. But um, yeah, um, kudos to them. It's a beautiful company and I hope they stay true to it. I'm going in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to work that outer edge, crease, lash line a bit, add a little bit of depth with this color right here. Outer V, crease, a little bit of lash line. Just going on beautifully, very, um, the tone almost has a little bit, um, a little bit purpley. It kind of reminds me of, is it the blue hummingbird from last spring? A little bit from Shantakai from the same brand. Um, yeah, gorgeous, just gorgeous. And let's see. I'm going to take my Sonia G. Which one is this? My smudger one. I'm just going to kind of smudge underneath. With that second shade right here, that one that's bullish under the lash line. And then I'm going to go in, go in the very inner corner with the white and see how that one does. That one's definitely more glittery. I'm going to pull it up a little bit too. Inner corner. Lower a little bit. A little bit of fallout on that one. That's okay. I don't mind fallout and I don't mind fragrance. That doesn't last all day. It's part of the process and I love beauty so I do not mind reapplying or wiping off. It's just part of the deal. And then I'm going to take this one and it looks like a duochrome. 
in palette. Kind of reminds me too, again, a little bit of Last Spring Different, definitely not the same. I'm gonna go all over the center of my eye, a little bit more. Blending that down. So I kind of did, trying to do a little bit like of an ombre from this, this direction with the white shade right at my inner eye and kind of using this beautiful sparkly staying on pretty nicely I should say wow beautiful palette wow just gorgeous just gorgeous you know, does it kind of have, when you look at it, kind of have vibes of Natasha Denona's um, Glam Palette? A little bit, a little bit, you know, definitely not the same. I need to take a clean brush. I need to help this to transition a little bit smoother, blend it out a little bit. Oh, I absolutely think it's beautiful. Yeah, just lovely. What a lovely palette, outside and inside. I like it, I like it a lot. It's absolutely lovely. I'm going to come right back with some liner and some um, lashes. And here are some swatches, all creamy and absolutely beautiful. All right, so I added a little bit of my absolute favorite Tom Ford defining pen. Number one, absolute favorite, the one with the two tips, the longer and the shorter absolutely love and the Chantecai faux seal and my absolute favorite mascara of all the bajillions I've tried um, just an absolute lovely product and supposedly having some woo, some um, growth enhancing serum or whatever inside and I truly believe that it does because I noticed when I wear this every day it works kind of like a lash serum um, so here's my look Kind of a beautiful everyday look with a little touch of pizzazz. Really, really lovely. All right, so let's talk about these Freesia and Jasmine. Here's some swatches for you. So here is Freesia. That is the pe more peach one. Oh, that's the more rose one, sorry. Here's the more, oh yeah, definitely more peach jasmine. Really beautiful nudes, yeah. I think I'm gonna go first with Freesia. Just the lip veil, no liner. Uh, it's mostly how I do like to use these. You know, I have a lot, as you can see back here. <laughs> I have a lot of Shantakai. Um, lipsticks, lip veils, lip sheiks. Um, you know, again, the lip sheik, so, you know, feels so good on your lips. Um, you know, easy to apply even without a mirror. Huge range of shades, just gorgeous. So I think, I think that looks really nice with my look today. I do have on some Chantecai blush, the turtle, sea turtle one. And I do have on their liquid Lumiere for a little tad of a highlight. Just nice little one. Uh, definitely um, can wear to work and I can wear it at the office. Um, for 
looks really nice. I think it looks very professional, very beautiful, very elegant and chic. What do you think? Comment below. Do you agree? Do you think that uh, you would want to buy this? You know, it's a pricey little palette. Oftentimes, um, you know, Shantakai, the new ones do not usually have codes when something is a new release. Uh, right now, I just see it on Shantakai's website and you can pre-order it on some department stores. But uh, definitely a little beauty. Definitely a little beauty. And then I'm going to try the other one. Oop, gotta find it now. Okay, uh, do you guys use makeup erasers? Do you? Have you tried them? Do you like them? You know, they got me with the saving on the wipes. By no means do I think you can just use, you know, they say it's, you know, you wash with this side and then you exfoliate with this side. If you're like me, you clean your brushes on these too. And then they look dirty and gross like that. But yeah, I like to use that kind of as my first thing. And then like my cellular water and then cleanse. Here's the peachier one. Oops, need a little more. Ooh, pretty. I think I got most of the other one out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, friends. That is beautiful. A little bit lighter, lighter pink still on me. Peachy. I, I would go with either one. I like it. I really, really like it. All right. So, all right. Let's talk. Like it, love it, or skip it. Um, if it came down to me and I had to decide, you know, do I like it, do I love it, or if I had the chance to go back and not buy it again, um, yeah, I, I really, really like it. I think I'm between a like, I'm a, nah, I'm a love it. I love it. I love it. I just haven't had that much time to, you know, this is my first, you know, go at it. And I, I, I think it's gorgeous. I, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. The lip cheeks. Oh, gosh, I think I flipped. Yeah, I had the colors. They're slightly different colors. Um, the lip cheeks. Absolutely love this formula. The shades are just beautiful. Just gorgeous you know I feel really really good about them um the peachy one I don't know if it kind of this one's a lot brighter from last spring I keep on forgetting which one's the peachy one you know definitely this one's a little bit lighter and brighter this is the was it clover no peach blossom from last spring's butterfly collection. Absolutely loved that one. So yeah, it's a little bit different. I can't think. Fall. Fall had a peach one too. Look at that one. Ooh. No, a little more pinky. Pink. Yeah. Definitely dark. This one was the one that was like a little bit peachy from fall. You know, definitely. Hmm, come on. Close. Little variation of darkness. I don't know. <sighs> if I had to do it all again, friends, like it, love it, leave it. Um, I think that. I have a lot of lip veils. I do. I really, really do. Um, you know, I never want to live outside my means or, you know, just buy things to have them all. I know I have I have that personality where I like to collect it all. But um, I still think that these are, um, you know, I don't have like every Chantecai lip shade ever made. Um, so I think I, I definitely, I love it. I love these. Um, if I had was in my my beauty budget for the month, I would definitely get these. 
if it was something where you know it was outside of my um, comfort zone and living outside my means then if I had other ones similar like the um, butterfly one or the one from the fall collection then I probably would I probably would leave it things like that but they are a lot I, I really do love it and what about Kirkshan what about a la rose oh my gosh So good. Yeah, this I hope will always be in my collection forever. Yes, I am a huge Kirkshan fan. I am. Uh, if you don't want to spell like all the other women and people in this world who love Baccarat Rouge, then maybe this is a good option for you. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it is. Beautiful bottle, beautiful fragrance. Um. You know, it's de definitely, you know, it's fresh, it's crisp, it's, you know, I would wear that definitely to the office. Um, it's not something that's beast mode, Kirkshan, you know, the scent bubble isn't like crazy from what I've experienced on it, but it's nice. It's nice and it lasts a while. Other um, ones that it kind of, I thought, what would it remind me of besides rose ones? Um, Gucci's Violet, that one has Violet in the base. No, this one, this one's way sweeter. No, not as fresh, not as crisp, definitely way sweeter. Oh, that's good. I gotta wear that more. And of course, Jo Malone, Violet and Amber. I'm assuming this one's gonna be warmer, too. Let's go down a little bit over here. Gorgeous bottle on this one. Yeah, definitely a little bit um, more warm, um, definitely a little bit more sweet. Yeah, this one is definitely a nice fresh one, very fresh, very crisp. Um, you know, high price point for Kirkshan, but I love it. I would definitely buy it again. <sighs> well, what do you think? What do you think? Join the conversation below. Leave a comment. Um, would you rather have something like a la Rosé versus Baccarat Rouge? Uh, would you like to try a sample? Would you like to try it out? Uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on the giraffe quad? Do you think that's something that you would like to pick up? Um, I can't think of, I mean, anything bad about a little beauty, a little treasure there in supporting the giraffes. Um, and what did you think about the lip sheets? The awesome formula, the beautiful packaging. You know, do you need some more of these? Let me know. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope that you'll stop by a lot more. I hope that um, you'll become a regular part of the conversation here with us as we uh, get together and talk about what we like, what we'd like to learn about. Um, please uh, help support this channel to get started and to grow. Um, I hope it was nice for you. Give it a thumbs up. And um, thanks, kittens. See you soon.